Merry Christmas Royals! How I get millions of diamonds without farming. And before I start the video, I wanted to give a shout out to this person for being the first person to comment on my latest video. Congrats! And I'll be giving them 500 Robux. This is the clip of me giving them the Robux. And make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification for further Royale High content. Now, let's start the video. Hey Royals! In this video, I will tell you guys how to get a lot of diamonds in Royale High without farming or multipliers. So let's just start. The first method is to complete your daily quests. As you can see here on the arrival screen, there are three quests that we can do. It's the computer login, the spin wheel, and the fountain. I usually do computer login first, so let's do that. Anyways, I'll be doing these quests on my alt account. Alrighty, we're at my apartment now. Go to the computer to do the login. Basically, you can get diamonds by doing logins, and the longer your streak is, the more diamonds you'll get. And I usually sleep after doing the computer login because we're already at the apartment so why not, hee <laughs> hee. Don't forget to turn off the lights, because it will charge your energy faster. If you sleep, you will get XP. And if you get XP, there's a chance that you can level up. You can also get diamonds by leveling up. It gives you 300 diamonds if you don't own any multipliers. Okay, we've done the computer login. Next up, let's do the spin wheel and fountain. Since Snowglobe Summit has the fountain and spin wheel in it, I'll teleport there. So for the fountain, you can aim for a halo. I have already made a video about the fountain halo answers. You can search for this video, or click the eye icon on the right upper corner of your screen, or click the link in the description. I got diamonds yay! But if you win a halo, you can sell it on the trading hub for a lot of diamonds. Now let's get to the wheel. If you spin this wheel, you can get diamonds, accessories, nothing, or death lol. If you win accessories unfortunately you can't sell them. But there's a huge chance that you will get diamonds, so it's definitely worth the time to spin the wheel. I got death, what? Anyways, so, we're finally done with all of the daily quests. It's time to show you guys the second and most effective method. This second method is exclusive to level 75 players only, so if you're still under level 75, unfortunately you can't do this method. The second method is profit trading. Although I know some of you don't like trading, this method is quite effective. This method is the one I used to get 20 million plus diamonds in only a few months. The only thing you need for this method is patience. I'll give you a step by step with examples, so let's just start. First thing first, you need to pick one or two items with medium to high demand to trade. If you don't have one, you can buy one first, I will explain it in a bit. Seasonal set items have medium demand, so I recommend them. In particular, the winter and Halloween sets have good demand, but the Valentine's set also has good demand, so you can choose. Be sure to pick the corset, skirt, or heels, because these items are usually the most in demand. Anyways, I will pick the DCD corset as an example. So this is what you need to do if you don't have a good item in your inventory. You can buy items with average value, like in this example. I bought the DCD corset for an average price of 15k. Next, you need to sell the item with average value and add an additional price to it. For example, the DCD corset is 15k, and you can sell it for 20k. I normally add 5k 10k to each item, but sometimes I don't add additional prices. Depending on the item, if it has a high demand, I will probably add an additional price. However, if it has a low demand, I probably will sell it for the average price. People usually still accept medium to high demand items trade even if they are overpaying a little bit. However, it is also not uncommon for someone to pass, so just be patient when trading. That's the key. And that's the basics of profit trading. Now, I will give you guys some advanced tips for profit trading. These are based off my 8 months trading experience. The first tip is to tell them to name their price. 
For example, you were expecting 20k diamonds for the DCD corset. But when you asked them to name their price, they said 25k. Like this example right here. This means they offered you more diamonds than what you had been expecting, so you can get more diamonds. It doesn't always work though, since a lot of people don't really like to name their prices. So if they want you to name your price instead, just do it. And the second tip is to ask what their maximum price is. This is the example, they will first give you a price. And then you'll ask them what's your max offer. They might answer with the price they gave before which is 15k in my case, or they will answer with a higher price which is 30k in my case. It is best to accept the trade if you like the price. But if you don't like it, you can ask them if they could do a higher price than that or add an item. It's totally up to you. The second tip can be combined with the first tip. Ask them what their price is first, then whether it is their max price or not. Those two tips are the main tips that I wanted to share with you guys to get more diamonds. But I have an additional tip to prevent you guys from losing profit or overpaying. The tip is, don't buy low demand items. Items with low demand are usually free items or permanent shop items, such as the Dear Dolly set, the Enchanting Heirloom set, and so on. They are usually really hard to trade away, since there are a lot of users who already have those items. You need experience to see the difference between low and high demand items though, because demand changes every day. So just keep trading, and you will see the difference between low and high demand items. That's all of the tips that I'm gonna give. Now, you might be wondering, where should I check the values of items? I'll show you guys two sources that you can use to check the values. The first one is Twitter. I usually only check the Halo value list on Twitter since it's the only one that updates every week or so. But there are also sets and items list. So if you're looking for the Halo list, you can check out Mallory Aubrey's Twitter account, here it is. He pinned the Halo value list tweet so you can easily find it. And if you're looking for sets list, you can check out Halixo's Twitter account, here is his account. He doesn't pin the set list, so you need to scroll down through their tweets, and it might be a bit harder to find it. Next is the items value list, this list is last posted by Audacitirae, here is his account. He doesn't pin the items list, so it's also a bit harder to find it. And it hasn't been updated since like a month ago, so it's not that reliable right now. Maybe you can wait for the list to get updated to rely on it again. Alright, that's the first source. The second and final source is Tradery's recent trades. I know Tradery's average values aren't reliable. But people usually rely on the average value on Tradery instead of the recent trades value. As you can see here, Tradery listed the average value of the steampunk items. The corset is 100k, the skirt is 66k, etc. Most of the average value on Tradery isn't accurate, but if you click one of these items, you can see this recent trades tab, and it will show you the recent trades that the Tradery users did. These value are usually right, so I mostly use this to see the recent value of items because in my opinion it's the most reliable source. Besides that, if any of you like to farm, I have a video about my farming routine in Royale High. This is from 5 months ago, but I still use this routine since it's the most effective routine, at least for me. You can check this video, or click the eye icon on the upper right corner of your screen, or check the link in the description below. I hope you guys find the video helpful. Merry Christmas Eve Royals! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next vid. Bye, heart.